But it's Jason Lowe here to try and send Salford flying high with a wonderful penalty. Salford City win the EFL Trophy. Today we're here at the Peninsula Stadium, home of Salford City Football Club. Founded in 1914, the club has risen through the football leagues in recent times. On October 19th, 2017, Sir Alex Ferguson opened the new Peninsula Stadium. The stadium holds 5,106 people, with the new stands enclosed and the old ground refurbished, effectively making it an entire new stadium. Considering this was all done in 10 months is a remarkable achievement. The stadium is a key element of the new ownership coming into play. This has allowed the club to grow as new fans are being attracted as they climb up the football league. The owners consist of David Beckham, Nicky Butt, Ryan Giggs, Peter Lim, Gary Neville, Phil Neville and Paul Scholes. Alongside the new owners, the foundation was launched in 2018. It covers education, health and wellbeing, whilst also setting up a lot of fundraisers and activities for people to get involved with. United Legends have had a huge impact on this club after investing £2.5 million into it. The first season of owning the club, they finished first with 95 points. The next season, they got promoted to the National League via the playoffs. They were then finally promoted to the Football League for the first time in 2019. Promoted! Salford City are going up. A Football League club for the first time in their history. On Saturday the 13th of March 2021, Salford won their first piece of silver as an EFL club. They won the Papa John's Trophy after beating Portsmouth 4-2 on penalties. My name's Owen Booth and I'm a Salford City fan. I try to get involved in the Foundation 92 as much as possible. They have little football games for little kids and stuff like that. I try to help out as much as I can. My initial reaction to the Class 92 taking over was, um, it was mint because I grew up watching Paul Scholes, Gary Neville, or the Class of 92 basically. Being from Manchester, a local boy, having them take over your club is just something you can only dream of. The change from Moor Lane to Peninsula Stadium was a big thing, especially for my dad. It's uh, you can spend most weekends there and it's like you're not spending stupid amounts of money to enjoy football. I'm honestly at my happiest watching Salford game. Non-football people don't get it, <laughs> but for me and my family it's just, it's unbelievable. Of course the dream's of the Premier League, but I'll be waiting for like the Championships and the lower leagues anyway. Uh, and I feel like the way we've been going anyway, under this new ownership, we're going to get there.